Rob Brands and tuning in to Kitchen Bay TV. Shout out Bro Bros over here. Y'all ain't gonna get this is that this that exclusive. Shout out to all my people in the sky. You caught me on crazy day. <laughs> we in the kitchen. Catch me whipping work up in the kitchen. So like, what made you like? How would you know to like keep that little artwork for the tree? Uh, just the vibe, just it felt weird. So I keep it. Damn, bro. It's a weird thing. Like when you when you like, I don't know. When you did that piece, do you know how legendary that would be? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bro, cause that's like. So you did, you say you did like all his face tests. Not all, but like I did the, the bad vibes, like that video that's all over the internet. That's all about um, seventeen. Yeah. Retreat, the loyalty, all the skin that is seventy seven percent of the skin. Oh, that's that's a fire one. <laughs> So how how all did you like overall like really get tapped in with these artists and shit? That thing called? I just started, yeah. You're good, I'm saying you can come closer with the Okay. Picture, so. um, everyone kinda came to me type shit. Okay. Okay, so like just starting back, like I like from I know like you grew up maybe like Jupiter area, like West Palm. Yeah, yeah, like Jupiter, Jupiter and like all over West Palm, yeah. Okay. Getting in trouble, had me like running around over here. So I started like, I was like a little like park for a full circuit. And then okay. like, I got expelled and went to the school for uh, Roosevelt Full Service. Okay, okay. So and like we're right like, now we're in like what area? This like right west. Right around the block, Tamarin. Like, Tam you know about West Palm? Not too much. Yeah, like, Tamarin's a. Where you know what? It's Murderville. It's like. Okay, so this is like. This is like, like the hood for real. Yeah. yeah. Like you walk out that back door. <laughs> I got expelled when I was like 13. Okay, okay. Like, like seventh grade. And like, you know what an alternative school is? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get in like, you know, so. It's like, a, where like you go, you're not like a public school. Mm -hmm. So like, I had I had to go to this school and it was like, all the middle school and high school. And I was like the only white kid. And like, I was scared shitless. You gotta get searched and all this shit every morning. And then like the first day I just started freestyling. So really? I was like, but I connected to all the kids because like I grew up kind of like in like, with a family problem, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a broken home type shit. So like it was like depression and being like, around kids that had the same problems. I got you. So like what did you get expelled for that made you come down here? Uh, uh, so oh yeah? <laughs> okay, I know you had one of your songs, you had a line, you was like uh like all the rich kids get over overpaid or something like that. Yeah, 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 You're taxing yeah, yeah. them, so that's yeah. that's how it was. Like coming up in area, I know like Jupiter's known for being like a little wealthier. So you was like coming up yeah, off. Jupiter's of, weird though, bro. There's like dirt poor, but most people just know it for the rich part. Okay. And so like, did you come up like I guess like a privileged? I know no, you no, say no, you no, had no. broken home, but. No, yeah, no, I came up like. Uh, Working my class. Dad is an my dad is from South America. Oh, really? Yeah. And then, like, my mom's like, not nah, definitely not with money. Not with money. Okay, okay. And so, like, what was it like? So, you, I know you said once you came down you to, up, like, you grow up around a bunch of, like, rich kids and get all this stuff and start making you feel some, like, everyone going on vacation, like, doing all that stuff and making you feel some type of way. And so, like, what point did you really get into, like, art and shit? Because I know you said you started freestyling when you came down here, but was it art uh, first and then so rap? Like when my parents split, it was, like, a fucked up situation. Mm -hmm. Like, it was kind of, like, I didn't realize it then, but, like, I look back now, and it was kind of, like, a, uh, just a lot of hate and, like, a lot of animosity. So, like, my mom would make me go see this therapist lady, and she was, like, a, 
yeah, writing in German, and I would just be rhyming and I wrote. And like I started playing guitar at like eight. Yeah. So like I've been doing music like since then. But I wasn't putting nothing out. But like my mom used to drag me to church. And I would uh, I'd always draw like dragon as he kept and shit. Yeah. And then like graffiti kinda of got me like in the streets, like seeing things that like So were you like into like skating and shit as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just straight like little in fifth grade I was rocking spike collars like Okay. Straight bumbo slip knot corners and some other down. Like I was a little hardcore kid, like a little yeah. hardcore surfer kid, surfing every day. But when I came when I got expelled and started going to school over here, that's when it all switched up. Mm-hmm. Like I started rolling around all these boys out here in the streets and then I didn't really realize what I was doing. And I got a little bit older and I realized who I was around and I started flexing on my like, yeah. You getting into fights and shit once you came down here or what? Yeah, de- definitely. Everyone to call me fight. But down here, they don't fight down here. Okay. The boys don't fight down here. Alright, so and then, so now like, keeping like down with the timeline, you move here, you're like about ninth grade and stuff, you're freestyling. And no, so, I came down here in like, uh, seventh grade. Seventh grade, my bad. And so you starting like to freestyle, and then what point do you start thinking like to take it seriously, or like how does that like grow from there? With the music, yeah, I've known it my whole life. As crazy as it sounds, really, like, yeah, I've known it my whole life. That you had like a gift. Well, I just knew that was my purpose. Like I've known it my whole life. Okay, like it's weird, but like self esteem problems and shit like that, like doubts the number one killer of dreams. That shit's real deal. Like, I had problems believing in my, uh, not believing in myself. Like, like, my dad being old school Spanish, like, he didn't really like, understand art. But none of these art schools ever accepted me. So it was like, I had a problem, like, believing in myself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And so, like, as you started doing, like, the music, if, like, I guess finding your confidence, you're doing graffiti. Like, I was always doing music as, like, therapy. Yeah. And that's what, one thing I got from you because, you have like a lot of your more like guitar sounding like songs. It sounds very like authentic, like you're just telling the story. And yeah, shit it's like, like that. honestly, it's like you can't ever lie to the man in the mirror. Mm-hmm. You know, like a lot of people do that. But that's like the one thing you can't do is lie to yourself because you just, you're losing all grip, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So it's like I admit things in my music that like, it hurts to admit yeah. to myself. You know? I got you. But the music is like, it's like straight therapy. And so, music, I'm, I'm, I'm this shit off. N- now that, um, you're like, you're starting to be like in the music industry and like, you know, things are really starting to move for you. Like, do you still feel like the same authenticity? Like, you love it as much or does it ever get like wearing maybe no, like no, the no, politics? I don't think the only to the day I die is because like what keeps me alive. Mm-hmm. It's just good now it's starting to be understood. Like, I've just been misunderstood my whole life. Okay, okay. So now people, like, they're starting to get it. Okay, so, like, you briefly said, real, like, that you had, like, Ski Mask and X, that you really, like, were good friends with them, like, you related to them as far as, like, having problem, like, family problems. And so, like, uh, you showed me, like, before we was on camera, like, the, the tree, like, you did X's, like, super famous face tat. Like, yeah, yeah. how did that come together? <laughs> so it wasn't that, like it was an ordinary day. Yeah, I'm gonna come clean. Every day is kind of crazy in my life. Yeah. And he just said, "Pull up." Okay, and then he's just like, "Who designed it? Was it you? Was it him?" And it's only one. And I just drew it off. I like, just drew it off top. Just like drew it. I got you. I got you. And so, like, you have, like, right now we're sitting in your tattoo shop. So, yeah, yeah. for people that don't even know, they just know you as an artist. So, you have the graffiti, you do tattoos and music and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. it's like a lot of layers to what you're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, is it, like, I know you, like, love doing each thing, but, like, what do you uh, music, differentiate? Music's the passion. This is all work. Okay, okay, that's what I was gonna so, ask. Like, like, when I'm with my dog and shit, like, I get to, like, chop it up with my homies. Yeah. Okay. 
So like this, I guess once like you start moving, traveling, you expect to like have other people working in here. Or? It probably turned into like a workshop, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the piece. Can you see the leg piece he just did? Y'all got started this yesterday, right? Yeah, last night we started with Lee. You know, we were, I ain't seen him in a, you know, a while, so probably a year or so. So we went to him last night and chopping it up, talking and shit, catching up. Drew us up, started tapping. And so how long you know him? Shit, probably a couple of years. About two, two, three years now, huh? Have you known each other? Yeah, probably like two, three years. Yeah, he a real one. Okay, and then how, how is that? Yeah. And so that's how you guys met through like tattoos and through stuff? I got you. I got you, I got you. <laughs> so like he brought it up like the Grim Reaper. I know that's very present. You have like the um I don't know what's it called, like over the scythe over your eye. So like, how did that like branding come to part? Like, how do you, I guess, find that? My whole life, I've seen this like shadow guy. Yeah. Since like as far as I can remember, my mom used to tell me she like, I come to the bed like, mom, mom, like you remember me right now in the bed. Really? So it's just like, yeah, it's just something that's always stuck with me and followed me. That's crazy. And so, do you feel like, I don't know, like you like the darkness? Do you? You enjoy that as like part of your style musically and shit like that? It's just part of it, though. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, yeah. I found beauty in it. That's funny you say that. Like, I, I feel I, I like. Don't, I don't have a worship like that. Nah, nah. I, I could tell. Like, you had, like, I feel like an a interesting sense of humor because you had one song that you did maybe like three or four years back where it was like like a child's melody and you were singing you like something something want me dead you know what I'm talking about listen I don't know if it was like called gaff or something gaff or... oh gamma gamma that should gamma. be it yeah, I don't know what it is there's just some shit in here like when I look in the mirror I just see some shit in my eyes let me see there's just some shit in my eyes yeah Okay. People have told me like if your parents were traumatized, like it could like transfer through your DNA. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't know what it is, but there's something in me. I don't know what the fuck it is. But, uh, I've heard